we're on the sunset cruise Jump in. and we're on our way Jump back. In. It's a 90 minute cruise, starts at 7 and comes back in. It's really nice. American Express Centurion Lounge at McCarran Airport. You get access to this lounge with your American Express Platinum card that we just got. So this is our first visit here and it is absolutely amazing. We had breakfast earlier, cappuccinos, lattes, you can get drinks. I'm having a Bailey's coffee. It's Ben at the club. Las Vegas in the airport and we're about to check in and go have a coffee and relax a little bit before the flight. You get access with the priority pass. We have access to that. This with a priority pass, so, so we'll is the credit card, the American Express credit card platinum. and the platinum card and I'm gonna put the, the link below if you want. We get the referrals, you get some points, and I get some points. All right, we're inside the Las Vegas lounge here. It's part of your priority pass access uh, lounges, which you get with your American Express Platinum card. You can sign up for the priority pass. And as you can see, one of the nicest things about these lounges is you have your own restrooms. They have complimentary food in a lot of them, complimentary drinks, and it's just really nice. We also checked out the Centurion Lounge here at McCarran, and I think that one might have been a little bit nicer. We are in Boston Airport, and it's not too busy. Everybody still wear a mask. And now we're going to get our suitcases. Welcome to Boston. Moldova restaurant is a Romanian restaurant in Boston, but I like the street. It looks so cute, like going up and down. Doesn't look like San Francisco now. <laughs> I'm in the intersection and we are ready to go eat the Romanian food in Boston. This is the Romanian restaurant inside. This is the bar. Very cute. Mm. Wow, okay. Oh, looks good. Look at that. Looks good. All right, here we are. The famous Mike's Pastry in downtown Boston. It is nine o'clock at night and there is still a line to get in and to grab something. There's Chris and mom in line waiting. Hi ladies. And 
This is their little store that is known for all the different flavored cannolis. And it is absolutely packed inside. All right, we're gonna go grab a cannoli and we'll let y'all know how good it is. Restaurante Hello. All right, guys, here we are at the Intercontinental in Boston, as always. Only a short little six-day trip and too much luggage, as always. There's Chris and Elena, my mother-in-law, and we're going to explore Boston for the next four or five days? Seven. Six nights, seven days. Six nights, seven days? All right. It's a nice lobby here at the Intercontinental. Always is. I haven't stayed at Intercontinental where the lobby isn't beautiful. I'm in the Intercontinental. I got to the first room. And it's like in Mexico. You go in the shower and you see the room from here. And then you see me. And they have shower also. Now we go in the room. It's a king size bedroom. They have closet. There's my mom. How do you like your room? I like it. Like I see from the bed, you can see the bathroom. Inside bed with a little suitcase, a chair, big TV. We got here, and there's a desk. We got a cherry on top. That's the city view we got. Very beautiful view from here. Let's see the other side. We are in a 10th floor and look at look at this hotel. Wow. It doesn't end. <laughs> And I can't wait for seven days of this city experience. Boston is nice. This hotel is nice. The view is nice. And uh, the room is nice. Small fridge. Small fridge. Is it? Nothing inside? Nothing. We don't have any drinks. It's okay, we go out. So let's uh, go and enjoy the city. What do you think? This is the second room. This is our room. It's similar yeah, with the fur room. Oh, and it's actually smaller. We have the desk inside the room. Here in top is we have the harbor view in here, which is very nice. Look at this view. I'm ready for the coffee in the morning, but in this room we don't have a coffee maker. We do have a little TV. This is the room. The, the bathroom is behind the bed. Go around. But I'm not going to go in the bathroom again because... I record the other one. It's just the bottom. I go from the window. The bottom, the shower behind the door, and the sink. Side range as in front of our hotel. 
behind the hotel. Behind the hotel. We have like a, a garden. And that's a by the tea, Boston Tea Party Museum right here. Boston Children's Museum across the river. Here's my mommy. And we have a pool. That's in there. And this is our hotel. We are in 10th floor. You're waiting for us? Yeah. You like the piano? That's uh, one of the restaurants on, the, on our hotel and is the bar when we, where we came tonight. Anything goes? Yes. They have a, a pool and a spa and the gym and uh, at the at the spa you need a reservation and we didn't make one so we are not going tonight <laughs> while well, tonight we are going to the sunset, sunset cruise this is the line to go to the to the boat to the sunset cruise Ben just got his ticket scan
there are certain areas where it picks up from and it uh, takes you to Encore yeah. Boston Harbor. What's the name? Obelisk like on top of Bunker Hill, which was the, one of the first battles of the Revolutionary War. Where the Americans lost to the Engl English people. Right. And the English captain said, if we have any more wins like this, we will never win the war. Because they lost, they lost like a thousand soldiers. Out of their, I think they sent 2,200 and they lost a thousand of their soldiers. So they won, but they lost. That's the bridge we pass by every day with a Uber. It's a pretty bridge. And that took us to the Angkor Casino. It took us to Isabella uh, Garden and Museum, but because with the ticket, we had the tickets, but we didn't have the reservations, or we have the reservation, but not a ticket. So we had to go back tomorrow. So I can't wait to go to see Isabella Garden and Museum tomorrow. But that bridge is phenomenal. It's so cute. The you ship in front of the Constitution that you can see. It's a bunker 793 hill. on the hull. There's the USS Cassin Young. It's a Fletcher class destroyer. That's the bunker here for the sunset. It's the place where the British won the revolution against the American, but they didn't consider a win just because they lost like uh, a thousand soldiers from, and they got 2,200 generals, and they lost like over a thousand, so because of that they didn't consider a win. About to be Amara. It's been docked here for about a week or so. I've done research, I don't know who owns it. I'm sorry to let you guys down. Ready to go? I always can't help but wonder if that other car is time to go. see Isabella, Isabella uh, Garden and Museum. Maybe we can see this um, ship, the T Boston ship. We're going to Quincy's Market and see everything else in Boston. So let's go. Is it the spa? <laughs> I'm coming recording it. We are going out to see the pool and this one is the gym room at the Intercontinental. It's a pretty view outside, the city view. More gym equipment here. Can you open it? It's more like a lap pool. Oh, it's nice and warm in here, so I'm guessing the water is warm. Yeah? Okay, we'll come back later. Fitness center is bigger than Las Vegas Athletic Club. <laughs> That's a pretty good gym, that's for sure. 